Direct self-defense is spear and hammer. Spear is a code for kick. Hammer, of course, is a code for punch. It's the transition between the punching self-defenses to the kicking self-defenses. Spear and hammer, I know that immediately after the kick, he's falling with that hand. I'm out of his range. And because I'm using my hands in the block, this would be a higher kick towards my belt area. So as he comes in with the kick, like a front kick to my groin or belt area, I drop back into a universal block. That takes it away. Now, it might look like I'm exposed, but my hand is actually up, so when the left punch follows, I do an outward extended block and punch his face. Now, when I do that with my partner, remember, I punch through so I don't hurt my partner. From this position, I do a hand sword onto the neck, cross over with a hammer into the chest, so it's in a crossover advancing, palm up into the jaw to hold him in place, rotate my body, Guard on the other side, elbow into the solar plexus, hammer the groin, rear lifting heel to the groin, cross out back knuckle, and cover up. Okay? Spear and hammer. Here comes the other side. Block one, block two and punch, strike. Cross over and hammer, up into the jaw, rotate, make sure you guard, elbow, this will fit, hammer, kick, back knuckle, and cover up. Okay? Spear and hammer. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you would like to learn more about what we do, please visit our website at www.kenjuteinternational.com where you too can get involved with Kenjute's online learning program from anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching.